Well, I'm Peter Schiff. I'm a radiation oncologist, and my specialty is really consulting with a team of experts on lung cancer uh, to help select and offer comprehensive care. We have uh, our physicians and dosimetrists and therapists and physicists, and we all come together to try to figure out what is the most uh, optimal treatment uh, for your specific case. I'm a radiation oncology nurse. We partner with the physicians and the rest of the radiation care team to help manage the patients throughout treatment, educate them, help them manage their side effects, and really navigate the system, make sure they're getting all the resources and the support that they need. Radiation is really a strong x-ray. We have very high-tech machines that deliver high-dose x-rays directly to the cancer. The dose of radiation that's delivered produces damage to the DNA of that tumor. Tumor cells are unable to repair the DNA damage, and when those tumor cells attempt to divide, they're unable to complete a division, and as a result, the cells actually die. There are two main types of treatments. There's called external beam radiation therapy, which is where the radiation comes from a source outside of the body, so it's external to the body and shoots in. The next type of treatment is called brachytherapy. Those are treatments where radiation is inside the body and kind of radiates outwards. The type of radiation you're going to get really depends on uh, the type of cancer you have and what stage it is. And so based off of that information, uh, your physician will determine what is the best course of action. Once the patient is formally referred to the Department of Radiation Oncology, we will schedule them for a planning session. Um, we call that CT simulation. This is a CAT scanner that has a larger than normal bore that the patient passes through when they're imaged. This allows us to image patients in the actual treatment position. Uh, after the imaging is done, the images get sent over to our radiation planning computers, and that's kind of where a treatment plan is generated. Treatment plan could mean, you know, what particular technology is used to deliver the radiation treatment, what energy beams will be used, how many beams, what beam angles, what intensity the beams might have. The radiation doctors, the physicists, the dosimetrists spend a few days and they create um, a very, very detailed plan of exactly where the radiation strong x-rays are going to go. As a physicist, it's our job to make sure that this plan meets certain criteria uh, set by the physician. So we want to make sure that the machines are giving the right amount of radiation and that they're pointing to the right spot. We also make sure that all the imaging systems and everything tied to getting a treatment is working properly and accurately. And then we also want to make sure that the plan has been uh, transferred to the machine properly and that the machine is able to deliver this complex plan that's generated by the computer. And we do this by placing what we call a phantom. It's this block of, of plastic that simulates the patient that has radiation and we treat the actual patient plan onto this block and the detectors measure the radiation. We then compare that to the calculation done by the computer and we want to make sure that everything lines up. They come up with a total dose that needs to be delivered to the cancer in order to best er eradicate or treat the area. But you can't deliver all of it at once because of the side effects and different factors. So they take a total dose and then they split that up into a total number of fractions or doses. can vary anywhere from, you know, one, occasionally we'll do one fraction for a certain type of cancer, and it can go as long as 45, which would be a total of nine weeks. The treatment of radiation therapy itself is actually painless. You're laying flat on a table as still as possible, and a machine is delivering very strong x-rays. 
you typically shouldn't feel anything. The only time people experience discomfort on the table is if they need to lay in a position that's not comfortable for them because the table can be a little hard. But we try as hard as we can to provide neck pillows and cushion for the area of the body that's not being treated. I have stage four lung cancer, it's in both lungs. One of, I have four tumors, one grew to the optimal size for radiation. Shishua sent me down to Dr. Schiff. You know, they can take care of it. Everybody there was warm, friendly, wanting to make sure you understand what you're going through, that they're there to help you. One side effect that's pretty standard for most people receiving radiation is fatigue. A lot of people complain about fatigue during the treatment. It usually builds up over time and tends to be worse towards the end of treatment or even the week or two following treatment. The part that was hard for me is I had to lie still on a thing with my arms up for 45 minutes and they got tired. The best way to deal with the fatigue would be to actually make sure that you're getting enough sleep, make sure you're eating a well-balanced diet, staying hydrated, and also exercise. A light exercise, even brisk, brisk uh, walk or yoga or stretching, things like that tend to really help people. Side effects from radiation depend a lot on what normal tissues maybe in the beam or near the beam for these treatments. So the side effect that we're concerned about is something called radiation pneumonitis. And we know if we keep the dose below a certain amount to a certain volume of the lung, the chance of pneumonitis is very low. With the advent of CT simulation, we're able to image the tumor better, which allows us to make sure that the normal tissue that surrounds the tumor uh, doesn't get above a certain amount of dose to make sure that you have fewer side effects from the treatment. There are patients who have concerns about whether or not they're going to have hair loss or they're going to have difficulty swallowing or are they going to become um, injured by the radiation itself. We spend extra time explaining in detail the quality assurance that goes on in the development of these treatments to make sure that we deliver them safely. You don't feel radiation. I mean, it's painless. It's just lying there. And if your arms don't hurt, it's really not bad. And then you find you have one less tumor. It's, it's not a bad deal.